Hi guys, it's Robin for The Valid Life, and today I'm going to lead you through a gentle morning Pilates routine. This routine will be perfect as a way to start your day, to warm up your body, to create energy, start breathing, and just start your day on a healthy note. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and start in a seated position on your mat. Right on your sit bones, feet flat on the floor, knees bent, and just gently grab behind your thighs. In the morning, we're always a little bit more stiff, and so we need to take a little extra time to warm up the body. So while we're here, we're only going to focus on growing tall in our spine. As we've been sleeping all night, we just wanna find that length in the spine again. So go ahead and close your eyes and begin to draw the abdominals up and in, lengthen through the back of the neck, reach the head towards the sky, and then start to wrap your abdominals from all angles. So I want you to think of if you had a corset on, it's wrapping around your spine, front to back, side to side, to keep you stable. Once you feel stable, go ahead and open your eyes and release your arms right in front of you. Take a nice big inhale, and as you exhale, tuck your tailbone, start to round back just about halfway. We'll inhale the arms up, exhale, the arms come down as you roll back up. Here we go, exhale back, inhale, and exhale. Good, rolling back, inhale, exhale, and rolling up to that, to that really tall spine. Roll back, float the arms, down, and up. One more here, roll back, Float the arms, down, and up. Let's open towards me. Just starting to wake up the spine. You're not gonna feel super mobile first thing in the morning, that's okay. Our whole point here is just starting to move. So just go to the point that feels good, and keep the opposite arm reaching right in front of you as you rotate through your upper spine. Good, let's work with our breath here. So we're gonna inhale as we rotate. Exhale, come back through center. Inhale, exhale. One more each side, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Good, from here, let's take both hands behind your right thigh. And you're gonna roll back just slightly, right just behind the sit bones, and we're gonna extend that right leg and just flex and point. Flex and point. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Widen across your back. Flex and point. Good. You could roll up a little bit if you want to feel a little bit more stretched through your hamstring. And if you're feeling like working a little bit harder, go ahead and reach the arms forward and hold the leg up. Ooh, I'm not there yet this morning, so I'm going to hold. Good, let's switch sides here. Hand behind the opposite thigh, extend the leg, flex and point. Flex and point with the option of challenging your abdominals a little bit more as well as your quads. Good, let's do two more. And place the foot down, scoot forward just slightly on your mat. Arms come forward, let's roll back onto the mat. Arms down by your side, walking your feet in just a bit, and they're about sit bone distance apart. From here, take an inhale. As you exhale, flatten your back, roll up into a bridge. It's the morning, so it might not feel like you can get very high yet. That's okay, we're gonna get a little bit more movement every time. Rolling down one vertebra at a time. Good, roll up again, nice and easy. Just trying to find that articulation, that movement. Starting connecting feet to the ground, pressing both feet equally into your mat. And rolling with control. Good, let's do three more. Breathing. Waking up the body. And 
this is two. Good, last one here. And down, good. Let's take the right leg towards the sky. Let's flex and point, flex and point. Flex, hold on the point. Let's just lower to about 45 degrees and flex back up. Point down, flex up. Point and flex, point and flex. Let's do four more, four. Good, maintaining that nice neutral, stable pelvis. We're starting to connect to the core. Good, hug the knee in towards your chest. And let's do the other side. Extend the leg up, flex and point. Flex and point. Can you imagine drawing that thigh bone deeper down into the hip socket? So stay grounded. Good. Now let's lower and flex up. Point and flex. Still maintaining your core connection. Keep the ribs knitting together wide across the back of the rib cage. Good, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up, hug the knee in. Good, let's take both knees to a tabletop position. Palms come to the ceiling, arms out to a low V or a T position. Open across your collarbones, squeeze your thighs together, squeeze your knees together as you inhale, let the hips, knees, and feet rotate to one side. Exhale, draw back through center. Nice little supine spine twist. Inhale the other direction. Exhale, come back through center. Inhaling and exhaling. So this is about mobility in your lower back, but it's also about core control and keeping both shoulder blades on the mat as your collarbone stays open. Good. If this feels like too much on your lower back in the morning, just bring your toes to the mat and do the same thing. You're still engaging deeply in your abdominals to make this movement happen. Either way is a great option. Good, let's do one more set. So one more to each side. Good, and pause in the center. Grab behind your thighs, nod your chin towards your chest. You're gonna press your thighs into your hands to come up into a balanced position. Chest lifting, thighs are squeezing together. Good, and from here, can we just extend and bend? Extend and bend, watch out for this. Drop those shoulders, broaden the shoulders on the back. Extend and bend, good. One more time and place the feet down, scooting forward on your mat for rolling like a ball. We're gonna keep the toes of the feet together. You're gonna to grab just on the outside of your shins, round your back, round your spine, pulling the thighs, uh, I should say pulling your belly button away from your thighs, drop the shoulders, tuck your tailbone to create a curve in your lower back, roll and balance. <laughs> Woo, I'm on a bumpy part in the sand. Here we go. Roll back, just onto your upper back. Hold at the top. And try to maintain this rounded shape the whole time. Just like a wheel, rolling back and forth. Let's do three more, let's breathe. Inhale and exhale. This is great for your spine. Good, and release. Stretch your legs forward, scoot your hips back. Take your legs, the width of your mat, sit up nice and tall, arms come forward. Spine stretch forward, inhale to prepare. Exhale, nod your chin, stretch beyond the toes. Belly button to spine, stacking up. Inhale, exhale, spine stretch forward. Good. Feels good in the morning. Don't worry about getting as far as you can. Just go to the point of right at the edge of your stretch, right where it feels like 
still feels good, but you feel the stretch. One more. Stack it tall. Your head is right over your shoulders. Walk your feet together. Squeeze your inner thighs. If you need to bend, that's fine too. Bring your hands behind your head. Bring your head back into your hands. Her spine twist. We're going to exhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Now imagine I was right next to you teaching you this class and I could come over and I could thread a broomstick through your elbows. So that's what I want you to picture. So you couldn't go like this. You would be nice and wide across the front of your chest and your elbows would stay in one position. The movement is coming from your spine, not from the arms or the neck. Good. One more each side. Good. Arms come out to a T. Palms to the ceiling. Same thing. Good. One more time. Each side. Good. Arms come forward. Arms come down. Turning towards me. You're done. You completed this quick and effective and energizing morning Pilates routine. Feel free to use this on a daily basis or tag it onto a longer workout as a warm up and let me know how it goes. I'll see you back on your mat very soon.